Hey guys, this is Dr. Brian with Back to Health of Anthem, and I'm sitting here with Dan, who just finished our eight weeks to wellness program, and he agreed to sit down and share with us his story. And I think it's really powerful that people share their stories because different people resonate with others like themselves. And so Dan just finished the program and totally crushed it. Uh, lost nearly 30 pounds over the course of the program, lost four inches off of his waist, dropped his cholesterol by 52 points doing it naturally and his blood work was just phenomenal and the progress we're able to make in such a short amount of time but he did it through healthy eating and did it through showing up and doing the work and exercising and moving his body and getting adjusted and taking care of his nervous system so if you would then share with you know anybody who may be watching this what was your motivation for what made you decide that you needed to do eight weeks to wellness and made you decide to start well I was just so, one of the main things was I was so overweight and aching and unhealthy and my dad had been died of a heart attack in his 40s, I'm now 49, I I'm, I'm realized that's still a, a pertinent danger to me and then I have a, a lovely wife that I take care of, right, and I realize if I don't make the choices to get healthy, then it's a really good chance I could die, right? Just by the the no cholesterol, the bad cholesterol that I knew ran in my, I'd done these uh, blood tests before. They get, if I don't eat well, they go high. And I was so really just unhealthy and aching and tired all the time that uh, I didn't want to be like that anymore. Got it. So many people, when it comes to their health, you know, they wait. They wait because they always assume that, you know what, I can just always start on Monday. Uh, I can always do something different. But the reality is 80% of the time people have a symptom of heart disease, it's a heart attack that they die from. And I know that was a concern for you. But as we started Eight Weeks to Wellness and we really dive, dove into the program, what would you say was one of the things that you found the most challenging for yourself going through this program? I would have to say what was surprising to me that was challenging was the the amount of cooking and, and shopping that I had to do. Right? I was so used to over the last few years just microwaving everything, just frozen dinners and just the Stouffer's lasagna and things like that and so many rotisserie chickens, right, that when I started eating healthy and having to shop, it actually I seemed constantly busy by and active by by the shopping and the and I had to learn how to cook even more. I do all the cooking anyways, but then um, actually really cook and not just microwave. Right. That was challenging. And would you say that it was a challenge for you not only to do the prep but also to learn to eat more? That's right. <laughs> oh actually that that's a good point. I brought that up that you're constantly eating, right? And then if you're eating the right food, um, the good vegetables, you can eat a Eat, eating a lot. I was actually having trouble making all my meals, right? Yeah. And with the right amount, if you use your hands as the measuring cup and having fat in all your meals, right. you're satiated all the time. For yeah. sure. Well, and, and we see that a lot with so many people because people can't fathom when we eat a lot of our meals out of a box or a bag, then when you go to start prepping and start putting meals together, and food prep doesn't have to be complicated, it's just most people don't understand how to simplify it, so we try to do that. So if there's somebody else that is watching this video that's kind of on the fence about eight weeks to wellness and maybe hasn't made themselves a priority when it comes to their health, what would be any advice you could give to them that would make them make a decision that's going to benefit them long term? That you have to make the decision now because um, it's going to get to the point where it's going to be a lot harder to make the decision. It's going to cost a lot more. I mean, medical-wise, by trying to keep yourself healthy, you'll end up um, spending money. If you don't do it now, um, you'll end up spending money by trying to get healthy with doctors and stuff instead of eating. And it may be too late. You know, if you that if you have people you love in your life, if you have children, and you have a spouse. You want to be there for them. You have to be there for them. That's really our responsibility. Not to make a choice 
that could take us away. We don't go do dangerous stuff that can put our lives in danger. Making the choice to not get healthy is the same as doing uh, dangerous activities that you don't have to. For sure. And I couldn't agree more. So many people, they just assume, you know, an analogy I always use with people is people will spend thousands of dollars, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars on an automobile they're going to keep for five to seven years and then they're never going to see it after that. But when it comes to their health, we're so ingrained in this decision of I'm going to sell my health to the lowest bidder. And your health, just like life, you get what you pay for. And so I just want to say congratulations and I want to say, you know, thank you for plugging in because when people plug in and we get results, it's not because of us. Our goal is to help support you and motivate you. But Dan showed up, he did the work, he made the meals, he made his workouts. If he missed a workout because of work, he made that up. And that's exactly why he's sitting here now. And we're just getting started on his wellness journey. Everybody's making choices that are going to make them healthier, make them sicker. But I feel confident knowing that what you've learned over the first eight weeks of your wellness journey, you're going to be able to apply that from years and decades to come. Absolutely. Absolutely will not stop. And I have to say the one thing about this is there was a point where it then clicks in where, so this is normal now, whereas if I see something bad on my plate, that's jarring as opposed to seeing something healthy. Right? And everybody in this, uh, in this uh, Back to Health facility, everyone is on the same message. And everyone, I notice is in the gym too with me. Everyone in the staff. So that was extremely encouraging. Awesome. So I can't thank you enough. And then if you know somebody, if you're watching this, if you have a health challenge for yourself and you need some help, we'd love to partner with you and help you. And if you know somebody that can benefit from Dan's testimony, uh, our goal is to reach people where they're at. And everybody's in a different place, but we want to help you and make our community a better place, a healthier place, one person at a time. All right. Thanks again.